Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Please subscribe to this podcast and if you'd like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland the links on the website now in this recording I'm just going to do a relaxation session just standard calm relaxation so I'd like you to get yourself comfortable you can lie down on a bed Uh, You can sit in a chair, a comfortable chair. Make sure it supports your body in the event of you falling asleep. Just make sure you're always safe and comfortable. I can't do relaxation sessions lying on a bed without falling asleep. In fact, I can't really do relaxation sessions generally without falling asleep but I can stay awake easier if I'm sitting up. So I would say if you're just listening to this uh, solely to have, you know, a 20 minute relaxation and you need to do other things afterwards, then maybe press pause and set your alarm to wake you up. Just in case you do nod off because you might just get bored and just fall asleep. It's very possible. I'm very good at boring people. If you've ever heard any of my other recordings, you might be nodding your head. Thank you very much. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is, first of all, just notice your body. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. I'm not going to do lots of sort of try to convince you to close your eyes and make out, you know, you can't open them or any of that stuff. Just close your eyes. Notice what you can hear outside of my voice. And it's okay for there to be background sounds. In fact, unless you've got a super soundproofed room, there's likely to be background sounds of some kind, even if it's just sound of the central heating or the sound of the fridge, or maybe the wind outside, traffic in the background. Perhaps you've got family downstairs you know it's it's okay to have those sounds that's part of the process of relaxing is to be able to relax in a normal situation it's not a sterile situation it's not a sterile experiment where you be completely soundproofed because that's not a very natural environment for most people. And besides, this isn't about falling asleep. This is about reducing tension, reducing stress, increasing your levels of relaxation and comfort, physical and emotional. And by closing your eyes, you may notice that your eyelids actually feel more relaxed, just automatically. And that's a natural process, it's a natural reaction to closing your eyes. I could tell you that the reason your eyes feel relaxed and comfortable is because of the way I'm talking and all that stuff, but the 
reality is when you close your eyes, it feels nice, doesn't it? Providing, you know, there's nothing, you've got any issues with your eyes or anything. It's just nice, it's nice to close your eyes and to just give your eyelids a rest, to give your vision a rest. Give those muscles around your eyes some time out. And that natural relaxation in your eyes seems to cause a trigger reaction to the other muscles and parts of your face, like your forehead and your jaw, your mouth, your lips, your tongue. It just all seems to spread through and just feel that much more relaxed naturally. And there's something about when you focus on what you can hear around you, as well as focusing on how you're physically feeling as well, it causes a sense of comfort because the level of what you can hear and the level of what you can physically feel will change. So you might be given 70% of your attention to what you can hear. And then you have that 30% attention on what you can physically feel in this moment. Then you become slightly interested in the comfort that you're starting to feel. So that level of focus on your physical sensations naturally would increase. And the focus on what you can hear decreases. Because it's less important and it doesn't really affect you or have anything to do with how you physically feel. And part of that physical feeling is also noticing the temperature of the room. Being aware of your surroundings. I know that sometimes I can be sitting down doing a relaxation session and I have this sensation of like a light breeze on my face. Yet there's no reason for it because there's no windows open, there's no one else in the room walking past me, there's nothing to cause that breeze. It's almost a light, relaxing, calming breeze, so gentle, but just about noticeable. And it seems to relax my face even more. And it feels nice to just sit here, not needing to think about anything, not needing to do anything. So even though you're maybe noticing the temperature of the room, you can also notice the way your upper body feels. Maybe starting at the back of your neck, maybe the front of your neck and sides of your neck. It's just there, isn't it? The neck is just there. The back of the neck sometimes can be 
almost like a little storage for stress. It almost feels as if they're just, when you focus on the part of your body, it's like the stress just floats out of it, like on its own. It's almost like you've, by looking or focusing on that particular part of your body, you're pressing the release button for that stress to just float away in the breeze. And even though it may not make particular sense, it doesn't need to because it's about how you feel right now is all that matters, it's all that matters. As you focus on your shoulders, then you can notice that feeling from your face, the calmness from your face spreading down into your chest and into your stomach. Just doing its own thing automatically. Relaxing those parts of your body. And your shoulders. As you focus on them, they may feel tense. So it's worth just focusing on them. And in the same way as the back of your neck, you could notice the stress just floating away from your shoulders. Being blown away by the breeze. The comforting calm breeze as that feeling of comfort can spread down your arms tops of your arms your elbows all the way down your arms to your wrists Relaxing your arms, relaxing your wrists, relaxing the muscles in your arms and relaxing the skin, covering and protecting your arms. And even though we've not mentioned your hands yet, Maybe you can already start to notice the relaxation that's already started to manifest in your hands and fingers. Without having even paid any attention to those changes up till now. And that sense of connection from your eyes all the way down to your fingers it's as if the whole of your upper body is just evening out so that you can feel just as calm and relaxed in your lower back as you do in your forehead. Just as calm and loose the muscles of your upper back 
as you do in your jaw. Just as calm in the middle of your back and all the way down your spine. As you feel in your forehead. sensation of relaxation and calmness spreads it seems to get stronger that sense of comfort seems to really increase gaining momentum as it travels down your stomach into your hips, relaxing that whole area of your hips, your buttocks, your groin, your upper thighs, that whole area, feeling more and more relaxed. more and more calm as you start to notice the feeling in your legs your thighs your knees all the way down to your calf muscles and your shins and your ankles feeling more and more relaxed more sense of letting go completely it's almost like Feel your feet on the bottom of the floor or wherever they are, but they're attached to that energy from the earth, that healing energy, that relaxing energy, covering your feet like warm water, gently healing cleaning and soaking your feet gently healing your feet and you feel so calm So relaxed. And I'm going to count down from ten down to one. Every 
every number that I count down from ten to one your sense of relaxation of your body and your mind will increase ten times more relaxed in your body and your mind ten times more relaxed in your body As I count down and when I get to one that will be the end of this recording and your mind now
seven. See. 